When we combine inheritance with the indirection provided by references and pointers, we get a very useful concept, polymorphism. Polymorphism allows us to use one interface to interact with multiple types of objects. That's a super vague explanation, so let's just look at some code. A classic example of polymorphism involves shapes. Say we have classes that represent a circle, square, and triangle. Each class uses different values to represent its specific shape, but each of them provides a function that tells us the area of that shape. The math done in each function is specific to the shape they represent. So how do we write code that can work with any shape? How do we make sure we're calling the right version of area for the type of shape that we get? This is what polymorphism handles. The first step is to make all of our shape classes inherit from a common interface class, which we'll call shape. This class just has the virtual area function, so we know that we can call area on any shape object. And of course, we'll want to mark all of our shape-specific area functions as overrides. The next part deals with how we use polymorphic objects. The key idea here is that we can have references and pointers, where the type of the reference is the base class, while the type of the actual object being pointed to is the derived class. So we can initialize a reference to a shape such that it points to a circle. When we call area on the reference, the computer knows that the underlying object is actually a circle, so it calls circle's version of the area function. Hopefully you're starting to see how this can be used to write certain kinds of generic code. We could write a function, for example, that prints the area of any given shape by making it accept a constant shape reference. The same thing can be done with pointers. Let's say we want to make a container to collect a bunch of shapes in. We can't store references in a vector, but we can store pointers. So we could make a vector of unique pointers to shapes. Each element is actually a different kind of shape object, but we interact with them all solely through the interface provided by shape. This inheritance-based polymorphism is a powerful tool for writing certain kinds of generic code, like plugin systems. You'll see it pop up whenever a common interface is desired for multiple types.